Crunchwrap Supreme. We all know and love what that is. It's a pocket full of taco meat with some crispity, crunchity deliciousness. But what if you're gluten free? I'm gonna make the entire tortilla out of cheese, which I effectively call the cheese blanket. Wrap in this Crunchwrap Supreme in a comfortable state, ready to be devoured by your taste bud brain and my actual taste buds. <laughs> Normally I would use 80-20 meat, but for this I'm using 85-15. I know the 5% fat ratio might not make that much of a difference, but the truth is the more fat that's in the ground beef, the more water gets extracted. So I'm gonna brown this, season with some salt and pepper, and in the interim of that, start chopping up some peppers and onions. All right, I'm using poblano pepper, which is not that spicy. Actually, it's not even spicy at all. It's just got a little bit more smokiness and more flavor than a green bell pepper, plus an onion. It sound right, boy. All right, so at this point, I mean, everything is smelling great. Now, once the onions and the peppers kind of soften up a bit, that's when I'm gonna add the seasoning and instead of water, add a bit more flavor via some beef stock. All that flavor that's stuck at the bottom of this pan is now being released, let free onto the world of onions, peppers, and ground beef. Now this isn't like a needed step. I've been doing this way for a very long time and I like it because I love cheese and I love cheesy beef. All right, the video's over. I'm done. I'll, I can just eat this big pot of meat and feel great about myself. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Cheesy meat is definitely good to go. I'm just gonna set it aside. We're gonna start frying the crunchy part of the crunch wrap, which is the corn tortilla. What, you guys don't have industrial sized things of oil? Is that just me? Now right here I got some standard issue corn tortilla street tacos and all I'm gonna do is lightly fry them on either side in some canola oil which is gonna provide us with that crunch. I wanna kinda try and make sure that they're flat because I don't wanna compromise the cheese blanket. If you don't already realize it, it's all about the blanket. It's all it takes. Seriously, that's really all it takes to make a nacho chip. A big one, that is. All right, now before I make the cheese blanket, I have to prep all the other ingredients because once we're done the cheese blanket, I have to act very fast. So we have to mentally go over the layers. We have to mentally figure out how we're gonna do this quickly. Now onto the cheese blanket, guys. Without further ado, I know I've been getting you excited. Let's make blankets out of cheese for a cheese blanket. All right, now here's the deal. If you are recreating a cheese blanket, you must know you can do it on any size pen, but if you're trying to wrap something in it, you need it to be larger. So the surface area of what you're cooking on needs to be large. That's why I got this 16 inch skillet. All you gotta do is sprinkle on an even amount of cheese of your choice. I'm using cheddar. I'm trying to like evenly distribute it. I'm trying to like evenly distribute it the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable there. All right, now as you can see, it's bubbling around the edges and that's cool, but we can't remove it until it starts bubbling like that in the center. So I'm gonna let gravity help me extract the cheese blanket off onto the flat surface. We're gonna have to work real fast. There's gonna be a lot of grease. Let's start layering. We got our cheesy beef right over here. We're gonna add to the center, flatten it out into like a patty kind of situation. And then on top of that, I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese. I know, can you, can you do something without cheese? But no, this is, this is a cheesy situation. We're gonna add some of this sour cream. Then goes the tostada on top of that. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of lettuce. Hit it with a little bit of tomato action. Some more cheese, I know. Now we fold. 
Oh heck yeah. Oh heck yeah. Check this out. Now I'm just gonna put it back on the skillet to close and seal it shut. Listen, this is not for the faint at heart. You didn't come here for health, okay? You came here for food porn. And here we are. A cheese wrap crunch wrap supreme. And is it greasy? Of course it's greasy. The entire thing's made of cheese. But is it delicious and is it gluten free? You're darn tootin'. I'm sorry, I'll never say that again. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is it. This is a gluten-free crunch wrap supreme made entirely out of a cheese blanket. We got cheesy taco meat with poblano peppers and onions, a little bit more cheese, some sour cream, separating the layers with a fried corn tortilla, a little bit of lettuce, tomato, and more cheese. Let me present to you the gluten-free crunch wrap supreme featuring the cheese blanket. It's a single off my next LP. Let's crack into this bad boy. It's intense. It's supposed to be. Hold it right there. Just, just hold it right there. The amount of flavor from the cheesy taco meat, just from the cheese in general, is incredible. We're getting crunchiness from the tortilla that's on the inside. We're getting a little bit of freshness from the tomatoes and lettuce. We also have some creaminess from the sour cream. This is everything that a Crunchwrap Supreme has, minus the gluten. I'd hit this 10 times out of 10, 11 even. If you do decide to go on this journey, make sure you have napkins close by. Because if there's one thing this isn't, is not greasy. Did you catch that double negative? Hope you guys like this video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you want to become a recipe champion in your own home, head over to recipechampions.com for all my published recipes.